Hello viewers, thanks for watching our videos. If not yet subscribe, please subscribe. So in this module, we are going to discuss what are the solutions for fourth, fifth, and sixth questions. So what is our fourth question is the cost of one penny is seven rupees. Then what is the rule for the cost of n pence? So normally one pen cost is seven rupees. If two pens cost is seven into ten two. If three pens cost is seven into three will two. What is n number of pens cost is seven into n. That is seven n will get. That is the answer for fourth one. So you can write in the format of formula also. How means you can write like seven uh, into m seven into n seven into yes whatever it is. Then the cost of one bag is ninety rupees. What is the rule for the cost of m bags? So cost of ninety rupees. What you can write as for cost of each pen ninety into one each cost of bag. Then two bags ninety into two. Then three ninety into three. Then what you can write for n number of bags? Ninety into m. So what is the formula? Ninety into m. You will get answer for fifth one. Ninety into m. Then sixth one. The rule for purchase of books is that cost of two books. Then twenty three q. Then find the price of one book. Normally, what is our formula is so q number of books will be q into twenty three. Then normally we will write each book cost is let's take twenty three. Then cost of books will be twenty three. Then two books twenty three into two. Then like that, q books twenty three q will come. Then cost of each book will be you will get around. Twenty-three rupees. Cost of each book twenty-three rupees. Then John says that he has two books less than Guy three. Write the relationship using letter X. Let seventh question. Let number of books had number of books had with Guy three or number of books had Guy three. Well, we take it as x. So less than two books less than less than means we'll get minus. Less than means minus. So John says he has two books. So she has, sorry, she has guy three has number of books x. She has less than two. That is x minus two. So John has number of books will be x minus. So two is the less. That is the relationship between both. Number of books having John Beth will be equal to John Box will be equal to x minus two. That is the relation. Reka has three books more than twice the books with Suresh. Write the relationship between letter I. Reka has three books more than twice the books with Suresh. Let Eighth one. Let number of books with Suresh will be equal to y. Number of books with Suresh will be equal to y. Then, what you can say here is eighth one. I am continuing here. Twice the books. First, twice the books. Twice the books will be equal to two times to the y. Then Reka has three books more. Three books more. Three books more means that is two y plus three. Two y plus three. So then Reka will have number of books has Reka number of books with Reka. Number of books with Reka will be equal to two times the Suresh and three books more. That is the relation to y plus three. Reka has three books more than twice the books with Suresh. The ninth one. A teacher distributes six pencils per students. 
six pencils per student. Can you find how many pencils are needed for the given number of students? Let's take number of students. Number of students will be equal to Z. So that Z will be number of students, six pencils, number of pencils with each student. Number of pencils with each student. How many how many number of pencils? Six. The number of students Z. So if two students is there with one student, six pencils. If two students, six into two, that is twelve, three, eighteen. Like that, six pencils is constant, but here number of students are varying. So it is in the format of multiplication with number of students. So number of pencils, number of pencils into number of students, correct? That is number of pencils is six. Number of students will be z. That is six z will come. So that is the values. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.